Hello, grandchildren. Uh, I went up to Chico this weekend. I, I think I told you in the last entry that I, my sister Amy just graduated, and right after that, I drove down to Chico to visit one of my best friends, Brian. <gasps> yeah. Me? Your best? There's two of you. I mean, I'll, you and Logan. Yeah. Okay, I'll take it. I'll, t oh, yeah. I'll take it. I'll take it. Not like two of you, two Brian's or whatever. No, yeah. That'd be weird. I thought it'd be fun, like while we're hanging out, to try some like spicy stuff because we're both kind of into spicy yeah. food. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I've, I've I've made jokes about Tabasco sauce before. Unfortunately, we don't have any Tabasco sauce. What we have, I think, I'll just go to the list. This is uh, spicy mangoes. Yes, uh, chili mangoes. They're dried. Chili mangoes. Are they actual mangoes? Yes, they're dried mangoes. Dried mangoes with sugar and chili on them. Sugar and well, sugar. Yes. <laughs> so it's like sweet <laughs> and spicy. Yes. Okay, that's. Let's go with that. Yeah. Yes. And um, then we have. <laughs> Crystal hot sauce. Yes. We're, we're trying to put these in order of spiciness. We don't know how spicy all of these are, so we're kind of guessing right now. But Guess crystal hot sauce. Have you had that before? Yes. How hot is that? It's pr it's pretty it's pretty up there. Like definitely not as spicy as I think the re rest of the stuff. But it's it's a good kick. It's a good kick. Okay. So yeah, it's so kind of like you know a basic hot sauce yes. to start out with. Then we have two jalapenos, mm -hmm. and we're just gonna eat those. Yep. Just One bite. There. Uh, and also for the hot sauces, we're going to, we have uh, I, homemade tortilla chips yes. that Ryan just cooked for us. Delicious. So slightly burnt. Uh, he just Fuck you, they're not I, burnt. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that one. It's that Chris, one. it's well done. <laughs> it's well, well done. It's fucking well done. Well done. Yeah. And next we have I didn't know what cayenne was. Is that how you say that? Yeah, cay it's cayenne, cayenne pepper. Cayenne peppers. It's called Red Devil. Uh, but cayenne peppers, they're, I know, it's, I think it said like 50 to 80,000 uh, Scoville. It was million. Million? 50 to 80 million. Uh, I don't know sure. how Scoville units work. I'll probably pop That's it up. That's fucking hot. The bottom. This is like the actual. Or maybe Scoville 50. Units. I think it's actually 50,000. Each one of the, it, was, it, was, it, was, yeah, it was something. Yeah. But I'll pop them up at the bottom or whatever. I'll look them up with the actual. Scoville units are, but yes. this is supposed to be some pretty hot hot sauce. And then we just found this at Winco. This is ghost pepper salsa. And ghost peppers are supposed to be like the hottest peppers, or like some of the hottest peppers. Well, are they're kind of old news now. Like the Carolina Reaper is supposed to be the hottest right now. Carolina Reaper. That's no, it's it's terrifying. <laughs> it's like a horror movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it is a little diluted with like jalapenos and like yeah, water and this stuff. Isn't, this isn't going to be the most in, like obviously in the real world. Ghost pepper, I think, would beat out. Oh yeah, Nero. definitely. But because it's like diluted hot sauce and there's like jalapeno and stuff in it yeah but I think this is probably going to be below the, the habanero yeah and then finally we just have two habaneros these one for each of these us. bastards are hot as fuck oh my god no you know one time yeah you what you, you didn't pass out but I okay hearing so about you falling on the ground they were this big <laughs> they, they were actually like okay so this is the size it was like this big and Beforehand, I brought like a bag one day and had these small ones before. We got one day, I'm like, let's get a big one, let's do it again, like how much we eat it. Ate one during first period English and Mrs. Smith's. Within five minutes, like of class, I ran outside, threw up in a trash can, <laughs> like came in and just laid on the floor in class. <laughs> Did not say a word. Was like well, just shivering. Because <laughs> I, I, wa I wanted to tough it out, but it did not work. Oh, and so, so you were like, going back in just to sit in your desk, and then you realized. I'm like, oh no, no, nope, let's get on the floor. <laughs> you need to lay on the floor. <laughs> and then Logan and Tristan like literally like carried me to the nurse's office and like stole milk from the cafeteria so I could drink, like had something. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, this is great. This is all fine. And then like. Two hours later, I just threw up and I like ran to the bathroom again and then just threw up everything I'd eaten for brunch and everything. And it's when I drove home at that point. And, and that's why we're not eating first. We're, we're just doing this and then yes. we have dinner later. Yes. A romantic dinner. dinner. Yeah. Like wine and dine you. Yeah, except and we don't have wine and we're, we're cooking pasta. You're cooking pasta? Yeah. And help. But we're definitely having no. sex at the end, which is why it's wine and dine. <laughs> uh, so and then also we have milk we each have a cup of milk and I guess the game part of this is don't drink it <laughs> the first person to drink their milk loses yeah so this is kind of like a our we're going up against each other yeah. right now we're we're friends usually but yeah. right now it's competitive it, we're competing yes so the first person to drink milk loses yeah is this gonna be like the time you camp with Logan and like the first person to put their clothes back on Loses, but at the end you're like, screw it, I'm just gonna put him back on and like, accept defeat. I had gone like, I, well, there had been at least 12 hours no, yeah, without any definitely. clothes on besides, like, I mean, did I have, was it just shirts? 
Did I have pants on? No, you just had your. It was just your underwear. We were just in our underwear. Yeah, and uh, it was like over twelve hours without with just our underwear. Yeah. out in the wilderness. And there were straight. There were people right next to us too. And so the like the only reason I put my shirt on and stuff was because I woke up and I didn't want to put up with this anymore <laughs> and I wanted to start putting stuff away. But Logan was happy that you lost. Yeah, he slept in. <laughs> this bitch. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yes, right. I think we should, and should then we along the way, we're probably we're gonna attempt to talk about uh, anything, our personal like our relationship with each other and mm-hmm. each other, and uh, why we're best friends best. while eating awful, awful uh, things. But the first one isn't bad, so I don't, I don't know. I don't think that I really like mangoes. I don't have them that much. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, just just. What if it's just you just eat it? Ready? Gross. It's not even hot. A little bit of a burn. That's not that bad. Yeah. The plate for the sauces, and would you, would you like to pour it while we... Oh, now this sucks because I have mango in my mouth, and I want to drink the mango just to get that taste out, not because of the spiciness. Hopefully this will remove that mango taste. Oh, yeah. So in theory, this is just basic... This is like... Basic ba- hot sauce. Yeah. You want more? Yeah. yeah you need more. Let's be even. Okay. This is so, I immediately, now that we're starting into the hotter stuff, I regret this decision. <laughs> like, why? Yeah. This is a dumb game. <laughs> I think it's a great game. Okay, you ready? Oh, fancy. Yeah. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not too hot. I don't like the taste that much. Yeah. It's like, it's kind of, vin- it tastes like vinegar. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? And what were you saying about when you met me? Oh, okay. When I first met you, Mrs. Rendez, English class, freshman year, I thought you were an asshole. <laughs> Boy, why though? Because, because you didn't talk to anyone. Like I thought you, you thought like you were better than everyone else. Because <laughs> like you just like suddenly like, oh, plus you like looked like a pretty boy. So I'm like, oh, he's he's definitely an no, asshole. No, you see, the, the 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 truth was. I'm just terrified of everything. Conscious, <laughs> and I was like, if if I talk to anyone, they're gonna realize how dumb uh, and mm-hmm. stupid I am. So I can't talk to anyone at all this year yeah. until I actually tr- like <laughs> for a year. Just no talking. Yeah, just no talking to anyone no. unless like I had to talk in like like in front of the class or whatever. I don't know. I feel like because I was so worried about myself mm. all year. I didn't even, I just assumed everybody else was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only asshole in the room right now and everyone else is perfect. No, no, no I mean like, like I, I was just like, like, I mean, I, have you seen like pictures of me when I was in junior high? Yeah. I'm, I'm just like this awful dork guy. Yeah. We're done with this all. Yeah, yeah. No. Plus, um, I don't know, but once, once Logan, like, you were friends with Logan, right? Through yeah, cross, country. cross country. Yeah, because cross-country. And we had, like, five classes together. Yeah, and then, like, we, and then you started, like, hanging out with us a lot during, like, sophomore year, I feel like, was when I really started to know you, and then I'm like, oh, wait, this guy's just crazy and awesome and, like, a huge nerd like I am, like, yeah, yeah, no, I'm just this is great. so worried of, like, <laughs> that I, I shut down and I don't talk to anyone. Yeah. No, and then that's, like, that's when we all hung out, like, outside the band room in that corner. Shall we eat the jalapenos now? Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> mm. <coughs> I don't like the taste that much. Yeah, I don't like oh, oh it's hot. Oh Mmm. Oh I I have it down. Have it down. Oh. Oh, it's in my nose! <laughs> <coughs> I'm not even fucking with you. There's there is a jalapeno seed in my nose, see in my nose right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's up with the microphone? Hmm? What's up with the microphone? Oh, uh, my friend Austin's filming something for his journal. Oh. Yeah, he's making a thing for his his grandkids. <laughs> it still burns. I know, here. Yeah. Huh? 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 Alright, talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Okay. Is the camera still on? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so. That was, that was hot. That was like a spike. That was like. It was like. It's like, oh, that's not bad. Oh, that's, that's kind of spike. And this is like, your mouth is fucked. <laughs> I've never had a jalapeno like that before. Yeah, it went. It, there's still like shit in my nose right now. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god. My lips? I can't feel my lips. <laughs> you look like you're about to cry. I am crying. Okay, here, you talk. You, you talk about. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, when, when did you think we started becoming friends? 
Probably <laughs> sophomore year. Uh, I feel like it's probably for band a lot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm crying. I can't talk. It's, right. It's okay. It's definitely sophomore year, like because of Logan, we started hanging out, and and. Uh, <laughs> Why is that jalapeno so painful? Like What's seriously, like I've had jalapenos before, but this is like fuck you. Your mouth is destroyed. Okay, so no, we started hanging out with Logan. Like we started like the rope swing, and one I remember, and and uh, <laughs> I remember we, we we both loved Minecraft at the time as well. So I feel like we talked about that. Oh no, yeah, we played together for a while. We actually rec we recorded. Like Minecraft I, is a is a computer game. G generated world. Like you go, you like punch trees and and. It's not a good description. No, and massacre. I feel like they're gonna have no idea what this is. You punch trees, you massacre sheep and like it's, just it's kill. It's like anyone. a free. It's like a whole universe made of blocks, like Legos. Yeah, stuff. and you and you can turn blocks into other blocks. Like if you combine two wood, you can make like planks, and, and planks can make sticks, and you combine that with like yeah, other so you wood. Can, like you can build things. Tools in the game. from you, like you can like yeah. mine materials and things. I don't know. Maybe they'll teach that in school about social media or something. I don't know. But oh my god. <laughs> We're only halfway done, and that was hell. This can't be worse than that. Okay. What? No, I've never had. A, I've had jalapenos before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's. Have you ever had one that bad? No, never. Okay, so this is distilled vinegar, cayenne. It's just. Honestly, I'm not joking about my hands being numb. It's like they're falling. <laughs> Seriously, no. No, no. Yeah, they're both like tingling. <laughs> fine, you're fine. Okay, so so next, Red Devil. You're handling this way better than I am. Well, I thought that I was pretty good with hot yeah. sauce. You wanna, you wanna pour these on our, our chips? Yeah. Severe. Are my lips turning red? Yeah. <laughs> it's so red. My, my lips are like the most sensitive part of my body. Ooh. Have you seen like I mean I've got sunburn on my lips. Before. Yeah. I've seen that before, right? Yeah. It's like if I go out biking or whatever on mm -hmm. sunny day, don't put like a uh, sunblock on. Okay. Ready? Ready? Three, two, one. Just do it. <sighs> That's not so much like a. It still hurts, but it's I'm not just numb at this. Yeah, point. yeah. It's not as like, fuck me in the ass. Bad as the jalapeno. Yeah. I think we mismatched this one. No, yeah, this definitely should have been on the on this side. Yeah, yeah. This was like that. Cake probably should come right after the crystal stuff. Why did mm. we even? I feel like no, I mean, it's 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 like misleading. Yeah. Cause I'm. I mean, I don't know anything about spicy. Stuff. No, but it says Red Devil. Look at that red devil. It's just like high end. I expect it. Satan to be in my mouth. There's a right little now. Satan. Yeah. On Satan. the bottle. Yeah. We can we talk more? Yeah. I feel like actually better now. That yeah. <laughs> weird that was like the cleansed me. <laughs> this this hot sauce relieves how yeah. pain. Yeah. Yeah. Right, can you imagine the shits we're gonna have later? I actually I don't usually have a problem with that. Oh, I do. Like it's it's <laughs> it's like fire coming out of your Can ass. Can you record that? <laughs> What's the first like actual adventure? The first big adventure I remember us doing, like we went to the like we went to the, the waterfalls and stuff, that's fine. But I think the first one was when you called me at like two o'clock in the morning. This is the pipe story. And but, but, but was that that was before Before the, the glory hole. Before the glory hole. But that's so the there wasn't anything before that? I didn't go to the train tracks. So that, I know that was beforehand. Yeah, but it was great because I remember the phone call exactly. It was two o'clock at night. I was playing a video game and you're just like, Brian, Brian, would you like to do something incredibly stupid and dangerous all for the sake of telling a story? And I was like, yes, yes. Like, I, you're like, I'll be there in 15 minutes. And then in 15 minutes, you're like, all right. I, didn't, I don't think I told you. You told me nothing. You're just I, like, no, just I get, think you asked me, right? Did no, you? Yeah, I'm like, what are we doing? Like, just don't worry about it. No, it's just, don't, yeah. no, you don't. <laughs> Which is always a great way to, you if know. If you me. don't want to when we get there, then we don't have to. But then I, I actually, I'm really happy about the way that I worded it even back yeah. then because I feel like I'm super hardcore about like that, like something incredibly dumb, like stupid and dangerous mm -hmm. for the sake of telling a story. No, that, those like were I'm your exact words. Right now, yeah. But I, I'm proud of like old, what's that sophomore year or junior year? I think that was so uh, sophomore year, the summer after our sophomore year. Oh, we're just going to need that in a minute for... Are we, can we salsa. just dip that in the salsa? Oh, actually, that's a good idea. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so... And then I came up and picked you up. No, and also, you had to, like, sneak out, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, interesting story. Uh, my mom was, like, just up at 2 o'clock in the morning for God knows what reason. Just, like, sitting in the living room. And my room is, like, right. When you get in my living room, like, you, she will see me. So I just decided, like, wait, kind of crept 
and I went to the bathroom and you know there's like that window that's like this thick snuck out and then we went and we parked in Codwell Park right and you're there yeah no it was just the sketchiest like it, that is stabbed. that that's where you get stabbed in Reading and so he just like led me to a trail <laughs> just this race like oh yeah I saw this I think you were biking like I saw this biking one time it'd be cool to yeah. walk across this yeah. bike and to describe this better it's like it's it's literally this like fenced off area like you know barbed wire and shit every, everything like you should not be in this place and then this pipe extends from it out of the fence and and then it just like it was like an embankment so like the pipes here and this gets steeper and steeper so you're getting more and yeah, more so, high so it above. starts out like the pipe is like by your feet at the beginning yeah and, you, yeah. and it's like it's like a pipe maybe like it's like a, a cylinder like yeah that. and like but the part where we had to get on we had to kind of like jump on it like yeah, we had to yeah. Lift so, ourselves yeah up. so we, we walk over and it's something maybe like this yeah up. so you have to jump up on it and then you, you can walk a little bit and then the ground keeps getting further and further away because mm -hmm. it's like banking down towards yeah. the river at some point it gets to like 40 or 50 yeah, feet. I think it was right? 30 or 40 feet. Yeah. 30? yeah. Or f I think 40. Yeah. But any anyway, it's, it's ridiculously so, high. So yeah, you're, you're really high up on the ground. Yeah. Spike. So he just leads us there. And we're like, okay, let's, we get on. And like the first, we, we start going and maybe we're like up 20 feet at this point. And there's just like this metal grate, like is, that is probably specifically there to stop people from like standing on it. It's like the pipe goes through, but it's this giant grate. So like, Let's go around it. So we just, you know, sw yeah, no, no, well, swing it, around. You gotta think, like, I mean, it was pretty big. Like, the pipe's, like, this big. Yeah. And it's pretty much this giant, me like, metal square yeah. that surrounds it. The pipe goes right through the middle. This huge, like... No, yeah. And it's barbed wire. On the all, top. Like, oh, yeah, on the... Just the top. So you can't climb over. You have to go around it. Yeah, but and then it was also like the the wire itself, like the great. Yeah, it was, hurt. It was sharp. It fucking hurt. But so so you couldn't go o over it, and it was too high up off the ground to go under it. So you had to go like around the side, and that involved like that thing where you stand on the pipe, you hold on to it, and you swing. You swing one it. leg around, and yeah. then you get the other way. Yeah. And then that's like that's still like thirty feet up off yeah. the ground. So it's like you have to, and your yeah. hands are like are hurting. At this point, we're not over water yet. And then, like, remember we got to the edge and we, like, heard that slapping sound? Like, something was in the water. Like, what the fuck is that? Did we ever figure out what that's no, we, like a fish or something? It's or a mean, fish or a homeless, rock, yeah, or like a homeless person. Homeless, yeah, that's terrible. Yeah, but then, so we climb it, and the way we do it is we have to straddle it, right? We're, like, we're sitting on it, and, you know, we, we inch, we're inching. Each yeah. just, like, hop, hop, like, I... Because, I, I mean, it's, it's, it's a pretty, it's, I mean, if you walk on it, that'd be like walking on a balance beam or something. Like a tightrope, yeah. honestly, because it's, it's, like, it was slick, too. Remember? It had the chemical no, on it that yeah. just made your hands Were burn. Were we both wearing shorts? Or you were wearing and shorts. Were wearing, I was yeah. wearing. Yeah, I was wearing shorts, and there's like this powder stuff on mm -hmm. the pipe, the entire length of it. Mm -hmm. And about halfway through, I think we realized that it was burning. Like, oh, my, like my hands weren't because like this is a chemical uh, yeah. trying to keep things off the pipe. <laughs> yep, and uh, and it hurt real bad. And then, <laughs> and it, but I mean, it was like a long, like it, yeah. we were going for like I don't know, maybe like an hour across. What a, a still a forty foot drop to the bottom. Yeah, like, so forty feet to a freezing cold giant like raging river. Yeah, that's about. And then. And so then, uh, yeah, the spider. spider. Like I put my hand down, and a spider crawled across my hand. <laughs> and it's like I mean, there's nothing like as uh, spiders are goddamn terrifying. Yeah, they're they're evil. But it's also terrifying the idea of falling forty feet into a river. Yeah. So I just I just remember seeing you just like go like this, and just tends to like. And you, you, the way you described it afterwards was, you said I, I was just trying like don't move, don't move, don't fall, and eventually I think it just went went off. Yeah, you went crawled off you. away. Yeah. Uh, you got to the point, like, I think three quarters of the way across, and it was actually, there was a beautiful view no, it was, in the it, middle. The Sundial Bridge, beautiful. The Sundial Bridge oh is like, it's a nice bridge that we have like, in Reading, but it, and it's, like, it looks nice, but I swear there's no view as awesome of the Sundial Bridge yeah. as on, that pipe. on this yeah. pipe looking at it. Because it's like, you, you can't see that angle of it from anywhere else. Yeah. I mean, it was all lit up in the middle yeah. of the night, too. Halfway through... There was this part where this just spire came out of the middle of the pipe. Yeah, like a metal like, rod comes yeah. out. It's like a foot or something off. No, no, it was it was too big to even straddle over. Like it was just huge. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Like you, no, yeah. We were go like we were just kind of like doing that thing, like yeah. putting between our legs and pushing ourselves. But there was a roadblock. Yeah. So this thing's coming up and like on it, there's these little tiny metal cables yep, yep. that you could kind of if you reached out far enough mm -hmm. you could go across. Yeah, so, but I mean, we didn't want to turn back because that's like, lame. Yeah, fuck it, we're doing this. Yeah, so so our option, like, we're above the Sacramento River, like, 40 feet yeah. or whatever, and it's, like, it's uh, terrifying just like it was before. Yeah. But now we have to stand up on the pipe. And then, don't you, like, 
You're standing on it, and wasn't it like we had you had to put both arms on one? Yeah, no, at some yeah, point so, you had to like... So you have to kind of like just trust yourself that you're going to catch this wire, and then you're kind of like... You side you're, you sidestep. Yeah, and that was... Like that was leading that way. Yeah, that like, was the most terrifying part for yeah, me. Yeah, sidestepping across the pipe, like yeah. 40 feet above, and the only thing that's really holding on is like you know, yeah. this re- really thin wire that I felt like if I put all my weight on it, yeah. it would like break or something. Yeah, but we made it, and there was another grate which we made over. Yeah, and, and, and I mean, after that, it was, it was kind of like eased yeah, down. Yeah, kind of down. Saw homeless people, they were pretty chill, we didn't say anything. Went home, uh, yeah, and then I snuck back in, and my mom caught me. That was fun. Did you, what, what, what did you tell her? I was like, I, all I said was that we, we just hung out at night. I never said, like... Does she know to this day? Oh, no, I just, oh, no, all I said was I went to Codwell Park. And she's like, don't go, like, that's dangerous. I never said we crossed the pipe. So to this day, she doesn't know no. about that? She knows that I stood in the glory hole. But that's another story. Oh yeah, I think all of or you know because they called our, they called our. Oh parents. yeah, they called our parents. Sh- shall we? Uh, yeah. All right. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Then I'm just gonna. Also- it smells meaty. That's it's just it it hurts the nostrils. Okay. Three. Wow. Two. I feel like no wait, we really, I, I feel like if someone was like an outside observer yeah. like listening from the other side of the door, yeah. us eating. Hot sauce would <laughs> sexy. It would sound like we're just going at it. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Nothing yet. No. That milk is so tempting. I just that's like I just is like a, a thirst quencher. Yeah. You know. Do you want to say more stories, or you just want to go straight for the habaneros? I want to take as much time before we get <laughs> right. those as possible. And because Austin is too scared to eat the habaneros, will. I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. No, no, I'm terrified. I don't know. I, well, you know what? I see. There was. Oh wait, wait. Um, grandchildren. This is Brian's dorm. I didn't. I don't think I said that at all. No. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We didn't. I, well, I mentioned that it came here, and I feel like it was like a given mm. that we're here. Yeah. This is where I live for now uh, in college, Chico. I feel like this is the essence of a college dorm. Yeah. Also, it's just missing the booze. <laughs> but I mean, I, like, I, I like, I enjoy the the clothing. <laughs> and all the... Just don't care. Just I have a jar of peanut butter in my room. Yeah, yeah and a spoon like <laughs> your hobby is just you open up the jar of peanut butter and you start eating it directly it's, to the spoon. it's delicious would you actually do that yes I've, I've never heard of someone doing that before is it good should I start doing this you want to try I no, think that, that that's kinda, cheating yeah it cheats because yeah. it's like rock paper scissors winner gets to eat the smaller one sudden death sudden death one win it's terrifying. Yeah. You ready? We don't need now, but this is just deciding. Fuck. Fuck. Sorry. Fuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can we just, we'll just leave those there, but let's think about them. I love you. I love you too. I also... <laughs> I feel like my relationship with you and Logan, it's like the gayest non-gay relationship. The gayest platonic relationship I've ever been a part of. Yeah. No, yeah? I mean, uh, uh, like... I feel like just with both of you guys, constantly, yeah. it's like, just super, super, like, apparently homosexual. Yeah. Oh, yes. Like, bla- blazing. Meanwhile, we're just nonstop talking about women. Yeah, <laughs> like, right. <laughs> it's like, no, yeah, I love you, dude. Did you see that woman? Yeah. Actually, that's not, that's not all said. <laughs> Did you see that woman? <laughs> that's, that's a sentence that I would say, trying to be cool. <laughs> but no, well, I mean, I just went up to Reno to bring my sister to catch away. Uh-huh. And that's terrifying because it's like, I don't know, I feel like life moves really quickly. But also, a lot of time you don't realize how quickly life is moving until you yeah. see those, like, checkpoints. It's like when yeah. you graduate. Mm. That's like the like, tipping point. That's like the biggest point like leaving, yeah. Like leaving high school, that was like all of a sudden you're like, Oh shit! I I'm not adult enough yeah. to be an adult. I don't know anything. Yeah, like I I just I'm I, to this day. I mean, I regularly like I had to drive a car like a work car one day, like a KRCR van. Yeah, no, somewhere like to Chico actually. Yeah, I was filming something, mm-hmm. and uh, I just the entire time I was like, what? They're they're just letting a an idiot kid drive this car. Yeah. Uh, we have to do that tonight, but yeah, we're going on the the rape trail. Yeah, there's this rape trail. No, don't say that with thing, enthusiasm. First thing when I got here, 
uh, he pointed, like, he was giving me, like, a tour of the school, and, uh, like, he was like, oh, over there, there's a thing called the Rape Trail, and it's really sketchy because people go missing on that trail a lot, and there's, like, it's, like, a mile long. No, there is, there is a sex trafficking problem in Chico, and I'm like, that's, like, you do not go on that trail. I know, I know people who have gotten stabbed, people have been kidnapped and murdered on that trail, and Austin, the first thing Austin said was like, can we go on it? When are we going? <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like showing some like, this is the button that like unleashes Pandora's box and fucks the world over. And it's like, when do I get to open it? Not like, can I, but when can I open no, this no, box? But the, I think the best part is I was like, we get to go on that, right? And then you're like, no, <laughs> like, come on, no, Brian. Okay, later. <laughs> and then yeah, I, I, just three tries. I'm very... Austin, then, see, Austin has a way. Every All this shit that I do that's, like, bad, he... I don't have a way. I just said, come on, three times. But it's the way, then, it's the way you say it. I, that's, I think it's literally, like, that's peer pressure. And <laughs> that's the definition of peer yeah, pressure. Yeah, literally, you said yeah. no, but, and then I said... But I love you, Austin. I want to please you. And if This is an abusive relationship, <laughs> I think, then. Well, you don't hit me. Well, I, I hit you. No, yeah, you've hit me. That you've hit me many times. I've hit him in the face. No, I, oh, wait. Oh, that one time. I don't you, remember you that. You were half asleep. I don't remember that. But you punched me in the face several times. Okay, in my defense, this is a story. This is a story. Logan, Austin, Tristan, and I we were just spending the night at Logan's house, and it was, it was all dandy. And um, I, I fell asleep. Wait, okay, okay, but the thing is, every time we go to Logan's house, though, we we do like all nighters. That was how it worked. And then you fell asleep because I my body needed rest. <laughs> That's no excuse. So That's then, a, according to them, they decided to throw every single like object in the room on top of me in a giant not, pile. Okay, we did stack things a lot. Yeah, no, it was like this tall. Yeah, don't you dare say something. Yeah, we stacked a lot of things on you. It wasn't like throwing, though. We just wanted to see how high we could get the stack before it bothered you. And then... It was every blanket and pillow in the room. Yeah, and then... By the way, that's how far we got. And so then, I think we win. Apparently, I woke up woke up in a, in a half-sleepy rage and just, like, went all kamikaze on no, Austin. You kept, like, moaning, like, uh. like guys, stop it. Like, I'm, I want to go to sleep. Like, please stop this. And then we didn't because we're... You're assholes. Yeah. But that's what friends are for. No, but... I, I've done the same. Yeah, and then you got up, and then you, you I just don't remember went full-on attack mode on me, because I'm the closest <laughs> one. I stacked something there, and then you got up full, like, just beast mode, started whacking me and, like, hitting me in the face. And then it was, I was, like, like, I was freaking out, and then I turned around, and then you were punching me in the back of the neck repeatedly, like a punching bag. That's like, terrifying. Like, like, That's like, terrible. I, I thought that I was going to be, like, paralyzed or something. And then finally, <laughs> it, we, we, like, like subdued you <laughs> and, and I, don't, I don't remember what happened much after that I think I feel like I just like I all I remember is I like, like gave saying stop and then I kind of woke up and like what happened you're like Jesus Brian you're an asshole <laughs> I'm like what do you mean I'm like you stacked shit on me he's like you hit you like you beat the crap out of Austin I'm like no I didn't what are you talking I honestly had no recollection yeah. of that and yeah shall we uh enough of the, the foreplay it's time for okay, but the thing is I know that I'm just gonna <laughs> vomit no, 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 no. Vomit. I'm not gonna vomit. No, you're not. Also, no going to the bathroom to to use water. I mean, I was kind of like, I when you left, and then I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I was to get the shit out of my nose. Like he's using water. He's drinking water right now. I, I honestly it did not help, and my nose was on fire. <laughs> yeah, I love you. I'm no matter what, this isn't gonna change our friendship. Yeah, it will not. It won't change my lust for you. Two. What? Can I taste it? Oh! <coughs> I'm done. It went down. It went down. Mmm! Fuck! <laughs> oh! <gasps> My, my lips, <laughs> my lips. <laughs> Look at that milk. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, we have, we have tortilla chips. We have...
Ah, my eye! I touched my eye! <coughs> Drink milk! No, my eye! <laughs> Okay, since he left, I'm gonna eat his, his chip. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> My mouth is on fire. <laughs> Drink it. Have you? No. I don't even know. I don't remember when I touched my eye. Okay, look. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> it is, it's okay to drink milk right now, okay? I will not think of you as what are you? a lesser person. Can I pour milk on my face? Does that count? Yeah. No. <laughs> do you want to drink milk? I do. You want truth? You have to do it at the same time? Yeah. It's really we're just going to keep doing this forever. Okay, okay. Here. At the same time. Swear. You do it. Three. Pinky. pinky. Two. One. You pussy. <laughs> I'm gonna stab you. I won't get to drink my milk for a little while since I, I backed out. <sighs> okay. no, Where'd you get that rag? <laughs> Wait, you didn't go to the bathroom with a rag. <laughs> I stole it. That's like somebody's rag they put all over their genitals. That's uh, no mouth rag. Okay, so how do you feel, Austin? Better. <laughs> well, you got my carpet dirty. No, I didn't. Maybe a little. What is Brian like? <laughs> well, how would you describe yourself? What do you mean, just like in general? Yeah, like if, you, if they don't know you. Uh, am I just gonna introduce myself? Sure. Okay, uh, I'm Brian. Brian Gentles. Yeah. Uh, What's your middle name? You gotta say middle name. Brian name? Brian Allen Gentles. My initials spell bag. Um, as you can imagine, Gentles being my last name, many people made fun of it, calling me Brian Genitals. <laughs> in, in elementary through high school. Uh, oh. I'm 18 right now. I am going to Chico State for an electrical engineering degree. Gonna be an engineer, hopefully. Um, I feel like I love I love adventures because of him. Honestly, if if he didn't take me on adventures and like you and you and Logan like got me out, I would just play video games all the time. And when well, I, it's one of those things though where I don't know how I feel about it because I, I like it feels like so many people are satisfied not being that adventurous. Yeah, so many people are like totally fine living their lives just in like calm, like peace. Yeah, and I know like I would have had a good time just staying inside, but. But when you're exposed I like, to yeah, it, it's like I, feel I like, tainted you. Yeah, no, you know, you you like you opened my mind because now it's like I can do that. But now, like, I have so much more perspective on like life and adventures and like stories. I don't know to where like I feel like now I can carry on an interesting conversation with somebody just about like adventuring. I don't know. It like it changes. It changes how you view it. Yeah, exactly. Like it changes like how I process things. No, no, no. I know. Uh, honestly, my my last journal entry that I did, I, I'm talking about just that. Yeah. Like I'm talking about like the mindset of being an adventurer. It was it was dead week last week. I mean, well, yeah, last week. Wait, 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 what what is dead week? Dead week is the week before finals. It's where like there's like no assignments supposed supposedly like all the teachers like a lot of teachers cancel class and you're supposed to study. It's like the calm before the storm. Exactly, kind of exactly. It's like it's like study week. And all of a sudden, my uh, my friend Emily Ehlers just said, you want to go to a Giants game? Just randomly. I've never been to a Giants game or San Francisco. So I'm like, let's do it. I just didn't go to class for two days and just did that. And I'm like, I could not have had a funner time. Just just saying, just being a yes man. Yeah. Just to you. Just like, or anybody. Just saying like, you want to do this? I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Like, want, like the, or like some of the most like pivotal moments in your life. No, I think it was... Oh, there's so uh, much. Like, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like there's so many things that can change you. Uh, definitely, my family's splitting up. Mm. Like, my sophomore year. Yep. That, that just, like, I mean, I was going on a completely different path until then. I was, like, I, I wanted to get a doctorate in computer science and get a desk job somewhere. Yeah. Oh, And then that's that right. happens, um, along with, like, a bunch of other things. I We did the poster thing, Logan and I. Oh, yeah. Did you tell them that story? I mentioned it. 
No, no, no. I think actually no. I think in the God one, damn. the the, the, or the the crisis one. I think I told him the about. Uh, it's fucking cold one. <clears throat> yeah. Oh man. I have the poster still. Good, good story. But uh, you know, yeah, it was like so that happened. That changed me a lot. Um, and then obviously, like you know, my grandparents passing away. I think that mm. like, I, it's just a combination of everything. Like mm. I feel like it's like I didn't just change into yeah like person that I, yeah no no it was like little bits of me changed and i started viewing things mm-hmm. slightly differently over time until now i am a completely different person than i was freshman year yeah man what about you my um you did. oh my god i don't think i even told you about some of the stuff can you tell me later i'd love to tell you later if you'd want i don't think yeah i don't think i've ever told you I'm sorry, grandkids, but heavy shit. He- heavy shit's going heavy. on, Brian, and you don't get to know. Well, I don't even know. Honestly, like I, well, one, like the most recent was uh, no longer being with Allie. No, yo, yeah, no, that, that was that. Like right now, I can see myself changing. Yeah, just I mean, well, like I, I mean, even it was. I mean, some people can view something like that just as like you know, it was a relationship and it ended. Oh well, yeah. but I mean, when you're actually in a relationship. You view it differently. No, yeah, yeah, um, and, and, and it's like it, that was like part of your a big part of your life. No, yeah, it because you know, like it, like I said, my ultimate goal is, is I want to have kids. I want to yeah, have a family. You're not like dating to you know to bang a chick. No, no, yeah, like my my whole thing like if I if I date someone even like from day one, it's not like okay, it's not like I want to marry you now. It's like I can see my like I can see like something in you. Like that, I could like I could conceivably see myself for you with the rest of my life, and I want to find out if that's true. Right, and I think that that's like the correct way of dating. Is like, you well, know, I feel like, like it doesn't when ha- you think. I mean, well, I mean, there's no rules, but yeah. I mean, like the the purpose of dating is yeah. to eventually find someone you want to marry. So if there's someone, when you realize that, okay, I don't, I can't imagine myself well, marrying. Yeah, because I mean, you ma- if you think about it, your g- relationship's going to end either with a breaking up or getting married and then getting divorced or dying or dying or death. So yeah, but for the three real great options, no, but. Uh, I was in a relationship for like a year and a half um, with somebody. I started dating her uh, senior year of high school, and uh, I moved here to Chico, which is like an hour and a half away from Reading. So I was like, we did long distance after uh, graduation for me, and she was a junior, so she's still in high school. And um, just really learned, like learned, and like this is my first girlfriend ever as well, and just really learned how. Yeah, to... So that's extra. Intense. Yeah. So I'm like, I know, like, like from day I'm like, this is someone that like I. I I care about and eventually I, I fell in love with her with this person and incredible and I just I was I made plans you know for the future and stuff and you know uh, like I could conceivably marry this person like this is someone that I, I genuinely love and you know like loved me and was great but um, eventually just our, our paths in life they just diverged like she was heading in one, one direction and I, I'm heading into a different one, you know, at the time, you know, being in it, that sucks, but you know what? That's life, and I'm glad that it ended, like, amiably, and move on. Out of that whole thing, what advice would you have for, like, my grandkids? And call your friends. Honestly, like, I called Austin, all, all of my friends, and talked to a lot of people, and... You 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 will be surrounded by love if you have like the right. Yeah, I feel like that's the cool thing is like you yeah. were talking to a couple of p- different people that like Logan, uh, you, one Tra- of- Trevor, you, my brother, like all my people, like like they'll help you. Like they'll- and it's like maybe when each one of us maybe we have like we don't know what we're talking about, and then some of it it's like okay maybe we do no, like, yeah. No. But then from you like talking to all of us, mm-hmm. you got like the sum of all of yes. our opinions and knowledge exactly to and, work with yeah. And, like, even people, like, my, my brother hasn't gone through a breakup like me. He just, like, told me that he still loves me and that, like, it's okay. And, like, just things like life stuff that he, he can speak to. Yeah, just don't be afraid to tell people. Don't keep it in for sure. And get out. Like, socialize. I'm and also, not to, to worry you, but my chest hurts. <laughs> I'm fine. Is it from the dent? Do, do your grandkids know? About my dent? Yeah. No, I think I've, t- I think I've, t- I think I've talked about my chest dent before. Just in case. 
No, yeah, I please I was, please well, tell. What's the, what's the word? It's like a, pectus excavatum. That's it, pectus excavatum. It sounds like a shitty Harry Potter spell. Yeah, but and actually, it's a shitty condition. No, yeah, like just a shitty medical condition. <laughs> it's shit. Uh, pretty much like as every person, there's like it's like a, a scale. It's not like a you have it or you don't. There's like. Uh, normal people, their chest is like flat across. Well, I mean, uh, uh, for guys, your breast—it's called your. If you're a woman, then you're gonna have biggity bobs mm. right there. Uh, mm. but as a guy, generally, it's like there's like a you know little bit of like pecs or whatever, but then it, it's like flat right here. And I have an indent right there, like it goes in. Yes. And uh, and uh, it, like so, some people have it like really intense where it goes like super in. Some people have the opposite where it actually goes out and they have like a a mm. nub right there. Yeah. And mine was like, mine's weird because it's rounded. I think they call it pectus erectus. <laughs> That's the worst thing about It's the opposite. Yeah, and yeah. all of a sudden, that would be the best hug in the world because oh. you have that hole, and if somebody yeah. else had the opposite, like a little yeah. thing coming out, the hug would just be yeah. that. I miss the hugs that we used to have. Yeah, because Brian, like, I have it still. Brian, uh, uh, fortunately slash unfortunately for me, he got surgery. You used to have mm -hmm. the, 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 the dent there, just like me. Yeah, mine was worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it was, yours was like a little bit more like... Mine started way earlier. Like, yours is kind of sudden, I feel. I mean, no. It's like rounded, but yours yeah. seemed like a, it was like, there was like more an angle. Yeah. It. And it had, you had more like issues with it. It right? looked like if the Hulk punched a car, the dent his fist would make, that's what happened to my chest. See, I always say that mine is like when I was a baby, I was punched with a golf ball. Mm. Oh, that's a Because of how round it is. Yeah. Right there. And then it kind of grew, you know, as you got a little, yeah, grew yeah, a little yeah, bit, yeah, yeah. Outwards and stuff. Yeah. No, but. But we used to hug and we'd offset <sighs> by like a couple inches. Beautiful. So like, I have chest dent, he has chest dent. We hug like uh. this. And it was like this perfect, like... Like, my nip was inside his hole, or his nip was inside, yeah. and it was beautiful. It was, yeah. It was beautiful. It was like the circle of life. Like, like you just, like... The I, Lion King happened every yeah, time. Yeah, the moment, every time we hug like that, it was just like, all of a sudden, music and unicorns. Got some wicked ass. No, but now you have like a... He, his, it's like nice and flat, like a, like a normal person. And now I'm alone. You know what, for some reason, like, this is, this is the opposite side of my heart, but this is like hurting right now, for some reason. No, 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 your mind's like right like, over here. Same! Right here, it's like, it's like throbbing. It's on the inside. Yes! I feel like we're gonna die <laughs> from, the, from this like, spice. Like, this is where our heart's supposed to be. Yeah. It's like reverse cardiac arrest. Yeah. I think that's, I, I don't know, I feel, I feel like I am, that's good enough for the journal, and we talked about a lot of stuff, and I'm happy that we did that. Anyway, grandchildren, uh, this is Brian, Hi. best friend. Brian this is here. Brian Gentles, Brian Allen Gentles. Mm. Yeah, remember that forever. You're probably going to see him in the future, but older, unless you die, and that's sad. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, now you have a face for when I talk about Brian, and you may or may not see, hopefully you see Brian, <coughs> but older and grayer in the future. We could play, like, Mahjong. Yeah, maybe. Old, may is that what old people play, Mahjong? I think, like, in the future we might just play, like, the but Tron bikes, but we're, like, 80. That'd be, like, like actual be, virtual yeah, reality? Fucking no, no, real Tron bikes. In real life? Yes. I'm down. I want to do that. I'm down. <laughs> anyway, uh, yes, yeah, so you might see him sometime in the future. You may have already seen me. Yeah. I could be hanging out with Austin right yeah, now. Yeah, just didn't really know who he was. We probably have a gay relationship right now that's secret. We don't because I have, I have grandchildren and that had to have been heterosexual. No, uh, but you're cheating on grandma. Austin's cheating on grandma right now with me. Shh. Don't tell grandma. Shh. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you see me anytime in the near future, we should not eat spicy things. Uh, yeah. What do we do? What, what's an activity that I could do with my grandchildren? Eat ice cream. Yeah. I haven't said that one before. Eat ice cream. And then if you want, we can invite Uncle Brian, Uncle Bri Bri oh. over, and Br we <laughs> all eat. <laughs> Don't call me Bri Bri, you I'm, fucking I'm, prick. I'm going to keep calling you Uncle Bri, Bri. <laughs> You dick. No, no, to my grandchildren. I'm fine with They're that. Little. They're, They're little. They're little. What I'm if I'm going to call you Uncle Bri Bri? That's weird and okay. it sounds creepy. <laughs> but no, no. When I'm old, I can say like, no, Uncle Brad Brad's good. Okay, okay. Great Uncle Brad Brad, actually. <gasps> I'm down with that. But yeah. Uh, all right. No, yeah. But well, we should all, we invite Brian over, Uncle Brad Brad, mm -hmm. great Uncle Brad Brad, and we all have ice cream together. Right. See you guys. Goodbye. So what exactly are you doing? You fry tortillas to make tortilla chips. Do you not know this? I've, no, I've never... I've... That, that, what kind of oil is it? Vegetable oil. Yeah. 
feel like you're the Iron Chef. I feel like I'm more of like a sketchy chef than an Iron Chef. Oh, I, I do have a question. Do you curse on your vlog? Like, there was a journal entry called Motherfucker. All right, then I'll, I'll just curse all I want then. I've learned my lesson. I'm staying away from this. <laughs> Do you want to have like a leaky burrito part two? Uh, no, 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 that it's like I have, I'm permanently scarred. Permanent's a relative term. Look at that, it's been like a year. Uh, Half a year. Yeah. Two weeks at least. Two weeks. <laughs> it, it, Minimum. It happened at least yesterday. More than two hours. It hap I, I don't think it happened today. Looking around and well, I'm filming like, you. I'm like the chef, so. I'm used to cooking. And I'm getting in your way completely. Um, and that, oh fuck. Well, you, will that melt the bag? Probably. I've done that at work and it melted the trash bag. <laughs> oh, I <no>, definitely. <laughs> <laughs>